Okay, quick update on Hummingbird, how it works, and, and just to give you a, a real nice feel about it and how it's responding with uh, Twitter right now. Uh, first of all, when you go to log in, so you're going to go and you're going to select one of your logins. All right, after you go to log in, down here it will tell you if you're logged in or not. Sometimes if you click on something too fast, uh, it won't log in. So this is your first key that you really want to take a look at is actually looking down here as far as um, you know if you're logged in or not. The next thing that uh, you really want to pay attention to, so the first thing you look at is okay so like this this test account we have uh, 1967 here with 1390.96 you know that your first uh, barrier is actually 2000. Uh, so if I was going to follow back right now, I could actually follow back. Um, so I go in I, uh, to my followers. I click on follow all and it just starts now just following back all the people that uh, that I have there. Now uh, you see this stop here. I don't recommend you actually use that because sometimes what will happen is is how many it'll, it'll get really, really kind of. Uh, uh, sneaky it wants to work it wants to actually just follow the people and stuff so uh, the easiest thing to actually do is to go into your gears uh, so you go in here click on unfollowing and if I wanted to stop it right now I could simply go and just put like the number two and watch it'll just stop so I followed enough it stops Oh, let me see. Oh, I put unfollowing. Sorry. <laughs> Make sure you put it in the right one. All right. And here we go. And now it should just stop. Good. It just stops. So, and this will take us to idle. And idle means that it's accomplished whatever it is it's doing. Now, there's a couple of things that are happening with Twitter I'm finding out is, is Twitter system kind of gets undependable at times. So, before I go to do anything else... I'm always going to come back up to where you see it says Twitter here and I'm going to click on it to make sure I'm still logged in because if you're following like uh, what I've noticed is, is I've been doing some experiments three to four hundred people that I'm following and then I let it set for a little bit and then if I come back in and I go to delete my direct messages uh, it takes me to a login screen and and Hummingbird doesn't really realize that because it already thinks you're logged in so the only way to actually stop that is to go and do a control alt delete end the program and then start it back up. But uh, the easiest thing to do is just before you go uh, to do anything else, uh, you always want to simply click on this Twitter. It takes you back to your home screen. You can see that you're logged in. Here's the amount of people that I'm following. These are the amount of people that I'm or, you know that are following me. Uh, and you can tell kind of like where you're going to be going from here. Uh, also, make sure that every time that you come in here, you tweet something. Uh, so that if you do have automated tweets or something or, or, or going on, it, this way it makes it so it's personal. Because the first thing that Twitter's going to do if they ever go to review is, do you have some personal tweets that are going in there? Or is everything automated? Does everything have a link? Uh, and are you strictly using it for spamming? So um, I like to just put in a couple things uh, because then that way it shows that, yeah, I did actually come in here. I did check. Uh, and, I, and I'm actually, you know, really kind of taking a look at things and stuff. Uh, after I've done this, after I've done my follow back, after I, I do my unfollows and stuff, uh, you know, hey, we're all set. Remember that right at the moment, uh, sometimes what's happening is, is that uh, the program itself um, or, or Twitter, uh, they're not kind of working really good in sync with the unfollow. So I like to follow for a few days and then I like to unfollow. Now, you can see right now when it's checking, it's actually checking. And these are the people I just got done following back. So that's no problem there. But what I'll do, uh, go back to how we originally started using Hummingbird years ago. And that is follow for a few days. You know, uh, you know, 
two, three hundred people a day until you you kind of get it to where you can't follow anymore or whatever. Then wait a couple of days and then just don't follow. You know, uh, you know, three hundred people, two to three hundred people a day, so that you can kind of clean it back up and stuff. And then that way your account will build a lot faster, a lot safer, and you don't have to worry about uh, what. Twitter calls excessive churn. Excessive churn is when you follow someone and then you unfollow them uh, and you keep doing this repeatedly day after day after day, uh, Twitter will review this and what will happen is is then they'll they'll take a look. They could actually suspend your account and, you, and at that time you can get it back. Um, just, you know, it's easier to avoid it all up front. Okay, so hopefully this kind of teaches you a couple little things. Hummingbird is really, really simple uh, and just enjoy.